Ladies, so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new watching this video, as per always, make sure you subscribe. I have a massive giveaway coming, I think within about two weeks now. I am so excited, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it because honestly, it's going to be so, so good. In today's video, I'm going to be going through every single Urban Decay Naked palette and rating them from 1 to 10 giving you my overall thoughts and opinions on each one and whether I think you guys should buy them or not because on my review video that I did for the Naked Wild West palette a lot of you guys said you would like to see an overall review of all the Naked palettes I've got and just go through each one giving you my thoughts and opinions so that is what I'm going to do today. So without further ado I hope you guys enjoyed this video and carry on watching. So I can't really remember which palette was released first and last. I know obviously the Naked was released first, then the two, then the three, but I can't remember when the Naked Basics came out within this like mixture. So I'm gonna start off by doing the Naked Basics and then I'm gonna go into all of the big palettes. So let's begin. So the first palette is the original Naked Basics. Now, firstly, I hate this packaging because I think something got on it and it's like sticky, but I've tried to wash it and wipe it and it just doesn't come off and I'm not too sure what it is or how it got on there but it's a sticky texture and I hate it so packaging for me is an absolute no-go I don't like it in terms of what's inside these are the colors so obviously it is a very basic palette hence the name so I'm not mad at the color range personally I could use either of these for my eyebrows and then I can use this for a liner and you have got a really nice highlight color in Venus here which is so lovely I I do think obviously it is a basics palette but it is a little bit just too basic like I personally think there's not many looks you can do with this obviously you have got a black in there so you can deepen up but I feel like everybody would go for a bit of naked two all over the eye and then faint in the crease and then crave as an aligner and then Venus as a highlight and you're kind of done but I don't know whether there's more that can be done with this do you know what I mean I do like this palette I really do and I'm really glad I have it but I don't reach for it and it's sticky so I would give this one probably a 3 out of 10 not my fave but I would use it the next one is the naked 2 basics which looks like this the packaging is the same as the first one however this one isn't sticky so god knows what's on that one but anyway this is what it looks like if you compare them together this is what they look like side by side now I'm not gonna lie to you it's basically exactly the same the only differences are is that the naked 2 has a dark grey where whereas the one has a black and also cover, is it called cover? Is a bit of a warmer tone than this one, which is Naked 2. Other than that, it's so similar. I think the Naked 2 Basics doesn't have a shimmer in it and that is kind of the difference, but I don't think you need both of these. If I was gonna pick any now for myself, I'd probably go for this one just because I think the gray is more wearable, but honestly, I think they're both a three out of 10. I really like them, but they're not my, they're not my go to I don't jump for these because of the lack of color so yeah a 3 out of 10 for both of those next up we have the petite heat palette now this I love the packaging is way nicer than the other one it's more of a plastic as opposed to like that rubbery texture in terms of colors this is beautiful I absolutely love this palette I love the shades I think they're so wearable this one is such a unique color it's like a dark blushy red it's so nice and obviously you've got the shimmer shade and and then all of these are mattes so lovely I really wish they did the minis for every naked palette but they didn't which is such a shame because I would love to have had minis of like the cherry and the ultraviolet and the honey palette I just think they're so nice great for travel um, but this one I would give probably like a 7 out of 10 I really like it obviously you are limited again with color but I think you can do a lot more with this than you can do with like the naked basics so yeah I love this I think it's so nice and if you like your warmer tones really great palette so now moving on to all of the full size palettes now I know that some of these are discontinued or limited edition but I'm just going to go through them all anyway and give you my honest opinion on them as if you could go and buy them if you know what I mean so the first one I'm going to start off with is the OG naked palette now I remember buying this and I <sighs> It's weird because I felt like I used this all the time, but actually looking at the amount I've used, it's not 
really that much. I've definitely used some colours more than others, so Smog that is a bit of a dip and Half Baked and a few of these two up here um, are definitely used and Naked I've used quite a lot, but what's this one called? Gunmetal? I never use that colour, like I just really don't know when I would wear that. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe it, like a navy, like silver? I don't know, it's not my favourite. However, kind of ignoring that last shade and even Creep I don't really use much. This sort of section is really, really nice, really wearable. I absolutely love Half Baked and Smog. They are beautiful colours. I think the quality of this palette, again, is amazing. All of Urban Decay eyeshadows, by the way, are unbelievable. I cannot rate them enough for the quality and the kind of, what's the word? Like quality and the, I can't think of what the word is, but I love them. So this palette is great. It's not my favourite by any means, but it is a really lovely palette. I don't know why they discontinued it, because I think that it is a classic. I would give this palette maybe like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. It is really nice, but not my favourite. And I don't like the packaging. I hate the kind of the felt. Like, I really just don't like it. And it's not very secure either because of the magnet so I don't like to travel with it but yeah I do like it just not my fave. So next up is the Naked 2. Now this one again it's changed the packaging it's more of a tin like casing I suppose the same as the Naked 3 which I'll go in in a minute. I don't like this packaging either I'm really not into this one my favorite packaging so far is the new ones which I will go into in a moment um, but this one is not my favorite either I would give this whole palette probably a 5 or a 6 out of 10 However, I do like the contents. I just don't really like a few of the shades in it, like Blackout, I don't really like too much. Very dusty, not my favorite kind of, I don't know, I don't use a lot of like matte blacks anymore, so it's not really my go-to. However, this kind of mid-range here, I really love. I love the shades Snake Bite and YDK and Chopper. I think they're really, really good. Um, but other than that, I would probably give this one a five or six out of 10. Similar to the first one, I just really don't like the packaging. I think it's just a bit like cheap, and especially because these were about £40 at the time. Not the best packaging, in my opinion. Now moving on to the Naked 3. This one went absolutely viral because everybody absolutely loved those kind of pink champagne tones at the time, and this is absolutely full of those kinds of colours. Again, it's got that really gross packaging, which I don't like, um, but colour-wise, I really, really love this palette. The only one I haven't really used is Black Heart, which is a black with a red and pink kind of glitter to it, but other than that, this whole palette, I have really, really enjoyed the shades Trick and Buzz. I can't really see because I've used it so much. Um, these two middle ones here, I have really used a lot, and the shade Dust as well is a really beautiful shimmer. I would say I prefer this to the first two. I I think it's a lot more wearable. It's got a lot more shades in here that I like. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It is really beautiful. If you can still buy this, which I think you might be able to, I would definitely get your hands on it if you like Urban Decay eyeshadows and you really like those kind of pinks and champagne colours. I really would recommend this. However, it's not my favourite out of all of them, but I do really like it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I would recommend buying it, but if you kind of like the others that I prefer, go for these ones instead, but this one is nice. So now moving on to the Naked Ultimate Basics. I'm not too sure whether this one was released at this point or later, but I'm gonna talk about this one now anyway, just because I have it next in my pile. So we're gonna go through this one. Packaging wise, really like it. Strong magnet, really lovely plastic, great design. The only problem I have with this is that because it is the Basics palettes, you only have one really light shimmer in here. And I feel like for making a complete eye look, I could have done with maybe two or three shimmers in here just to give me some variety and a bit more I don't know it's just really hard to make a complete look with this palette because of the lack of shimmers in here obviously when this one was released matte eyeshadow looks were definitely more popular and on trend and the thing to go for so for that reason you can't really complain but I do wish now that it had a few more shimmer shades I do really like the shades tempted and instinct and and I think those are my favourite. These kind of like pinky tones, I really enjoy. I really like this one, which is extra bitter. This burnt orange, really lovely. Um, and Lethal is really nice. It's a really beautiful, like plummy brown, really pretty. But yeah, overall, I would give this one probably like a six and a half out of 10. I do like it. I'm glad that I have it, but I do find it hard to make a look just based on this one palette alone and not bring in other colours. So I do like that, but it's not my 
ultimate fave. Next up we have the Naked Smoky palette. Now this is the first time that we've seen the better in my opinion packaging. I much prefer this packaging to any of the others. It's so sturdy. I can put it in my suitcase and it doesn't break. It's got a really strong magnet. It's just really lovely quality and I just much prefer it. I love the fact that the mirror goes all the way back so it means I can do this and not blind you. I have still got the plastic thing on it just because I didn't ever take that off. I'm not really sure why. I have a very big love and hate relationship with this palette. There are some really beautiful colours in here. I absolutely love the shade Armour and High. Really beautiful shimmer shades as well as Smolder which is a really just delicious like purpley black. It's so nice. But the only thing with this palette I find odd is that you've got four mattes at the end and then you've got all the shimmers this way and I just feel like Whiskey is a bit of an odd colour to be in this palette. It's just a really dark chocolatey kind of matte brown and a lot of the other shades in here are kind of cool tone well especially like within this sort of section so I don't know I do like this palette a lot I have created some really fun and different looks with this palette so for that reason I will give this one a 7 out of 10 I would buy this again especially if you do like those darker cooler toned looks I really do recommend this however if you are aren't really into your dark shades I probably wouldn't go for it simply because you only would then have about five shades to play with so if you don't like darker eyeshadows probably not the one for you but I do like it so yeah I do like that one I would buy again um, and the packaging is just amazing. Next up we have the Naked Reloaded palette. Now I'm not gonna lie, this packaging makes me feel sick. After seeing this amazing packaging, like why would I want that, do you know what I mean? Especially because the price was the same. Not a fan, not a fan of the spongy like packaging, it's not for me. However, colour wise, I love it. Now I believe this Naked Reloaded palette was meant to be a reloaded version of the original Naked so let's compare them together. I've actually never done this so it'll be interesting to see the difference. So as you can see this is the difference. They are super super different. I wouldn't even go to say these are somewhat similar. They have a similar kind of light colour. They have a similar kind of gold shimmer but other than that they're very very different. So the Naked Reloaded in my opinion is better. I much prefer it. It's much more wearable for me and I absolutely absolutely love the kind of shade range and the kind of colour story of this palette. I really like it, especially Retro, Reputation and Burn. I think they're so lovely colours, like really delicious. I love them. Um, I also really like the shade Bucked and Blur, which are these two. I use these ones a lot as kind of transitional colours. Really like those. You have Barely Baked, which is very similar to Half Baked in my opinion, and Angel Fire, which is this really beautiful like champagne-y, flaky, glittery amazingness. I love it so much. So yeah, Naked reloaded the actual quantity quantity <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for the actual not quality content where like quality from the content of this palette I would give a 10 out of 10 I really love the color story the color range I would take this away with me on holiday and I would have no issues with making different looks with this one palette so I love that however I hate the packaging so I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 oops dropped it an 8 out of 10 because the packaging is gross and it just doesn't feel like 45, 48, 42, however much this was pounds worth of like product because of the packaging. So yeah, not my favourite but I would probably buy it again if it had different packaging. The next one is the Naked Heat palette. Now this one went absolutely viral again because these colours were really on trend at the time and I think Urban Decay kind of bring out palettes and they really know what's on trend at the time and that is why they go absolutely viral but this Naked Heat palette palette is absolutely stunning. Now it is no lie that I do love a warm eyeshadow look. I do love an orange. I've got a slight orange on today. More of a like bronze but there's definitely a bit of orange in there and I cannot recommend this palette enough. I absolutely love it. Now I'm not too sure whether this is still available so I am so sorry if it's not. If it is though please go and buy it. This is absolutely stunning. The shades Scorched and Dirty Talk and Lumber are my absolute faves which are these. I mean I like Key Devil too so those kind of like four middle ones I really really enjoy. But this whole, oh, I just love it. I just love this palette. I love that the shade names kind of relate to the palette names. So you've got things like Ember, Ashes, you've got Cayenne, Enfuego, Scorch, 
watched, um, sourced, ounce, most of which relate to heat and fire. I love that. So this palette I would happily give a 9 out of 10. I have no complaints with this palette. I would only give it a 9 out of 10 because I feel like, I don't know whether any of these are a solid 10 out of 10 yet. I'm not too sure. I will let you guys know. But yeah, this one definitely a 9 out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Really like it. Packaging is great. And yeah, amazing. Amazing. The next palette is the Naked Cherry. Now this one is heavenly. It is heavenly. Look at these shades. Now I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't really had so much time using this palette. I really need to use it a bit more because I absolutely loved it when I did use it. Um, but I haven't had much time using it recently so I'm definitely going to have to dig this one out. But by looking at it now I love Bang Bang which is this beautiful like champagne-y shimmer and also Young Love which is this yummy like berry colour. Oh, I just love this palette. Again, 9.5 out of 10. The packaging is stunning. The colour story is amazing and I love it. I love this one. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10. Really love that. The next one is the Ultra Violet palette. Now this one came out I believe at the start of lockdown last year and I just saw this and was like I need that in my life. The packaging stunning. Stunning. And the contents stunning. Like look at these colours. This one, what's it called? Lucid this colour? How unreal is that? I have to swatch it to show you guys because honestly you're not going to see kind of the... Let me show you. Do you see that? I don't know whether you can see how nice that is on camera just by putting it on my hand but oh it's so nice. That colour is lovely. It's like a green shifty highlight colour. It's so nice. Kind of weird when you look at it in the palette. It like stands out but I really like it. I also love the shade Dazed which is this really lovely like warm orangey bronze. Really pretty and obviously the purples in this are unreal. I love a purple eyeshadow. I think it really complements brown eyes which is why I love it so much. I just really really like it. I would also give this one a 9 out of 10. I think it's stunning. It's so nice and if you don't have this honestly if you love purple just buy it and thank me later especially just for Lucid. It's amazing so 10 out of 10 would highly recommend and if you've not tried this please go and swatch it when we can because it's just delicious amazing next up we have the urban decay naked honey palette now i've used this quite a few times in videos and a lot of you guys have said oh my god what eyeshadow have you got on i love that and it's always been this one so you guys seem to really really like this one so if you love a bronze like gold eye this is for you i'm telling you this is beautiful and this is what it looks like now when i've had a few compliments on my videos i've always popped the shade golden which is this one just all over the lid and then use like a darker few shades to like deepen it out in the crease but that is what i've been wearing and i love it so much and every time i wear this you guys go like mental for my eyeshadow and you're like what is that on your eyes and it's always this one so if you are one of those people you know that you need to buy this the packaging as well I love it. I don't know whether I like the fact that this is like 3D like and it's not so smooth like this one but it is different and I do like it um, and I just think it's stunning. I really love this one. Again, 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely love it and the colour story in this is beautiful. So if you like your gold colours, I'm telling you, you're welcome. And last but by no means least is the brand new Naked Wild West palette. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with this because I did do an entire video on this palette alone. So I will briefly go into it that the packaging is stunning. It's a beautiful like oil slick snake skin print design and I love that so much. I'm obsessed. And again the colour story in this is just delicious. Like when you think of Wild West and cowboys and that kind of vibe. This is what I see. I love that. Bud is my absolute fave. I have been using that a lot recently, especially with Ghost Town and what was the other one? Nudie. So I use Nudie all over the lid and then I put Ghost Town on top and then I put Bud on the lid. Does that make sense? I meant in the crease. You know what I mean. And it just makes a beautiful look. I would have to give this one a 9 out of 10. I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette and I might even have to say that it is my current fave. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I have done a whole video on this. So check that out. But yeah, amazing. I love that. So those are all of my thoughts and opinions on every single Urban Decay Naked palette. I think. I think so anyway. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which ones you have and which ones you really really enjoy because I'd really love to know and I love eyeshadow palettes. Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes are my guilty pleasure so if you are like me and you're obsessed with eyeshadow and makeup and that kind of thing let me know down below what your favourite palettes are. Even if it's not Urban Decay let me know because I'd love to know and yeah 
I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.